All right, guys, good morning. I got some new tool bags to talk about today. I picked up the Vito Pro Pack uh, PB4 small tool bags. They ran about $57 on Amazon. I'm sure there are plumbing houses and everywhere else where you can get these as well. These are some nice, solid bags. I, uh, I've been using the AWP HPs from Lowe's for a while. And while they're good bags, I, I believe they're maybe around $13, $14. You're gonna see those as I go through here because I'm still using them inside these. They're so much smaller. The largest one's around half the size of one of these, TP, of these PB4s. I have my OTMC here so you can actually see the, the size comparison of the two, as well as how they actually clip right onto these rings and whatnot on your larger Vito bags. So that if, you're want, if you want, you can carry one bag at a time with you that way. Obviously, Vito bags get incredibly heavy anyway as you're using them, so you're gonna to wanna to have as little as possible on there. That was where I came to the conclusion I had to have these. If you put your fittings in your plumbing bag, it gets incredibly heavy, as well as I like to carry the smallest bags I possibly can. That's why I have the little OTMC, the smaller version I can fit all the tools in there, but not all the parts. So now I just carry the parts I need in with me in these. <clears throat> this one here, start with a little tour of what's in my bags. They have clear fronts on them. They're very heavy duty built. They have a mesh built into the clear part. This one here, had, they have different colors too. They have a light gray, dark gray, dark orange, and light orange. So you can separate size fittings, things like that, that way. I carry emergency fitting shark bites in there if I had to run to the store and something's leaking. Um, as well as this is all my cinch ring, pinch clamps, whatever you use, brass fittings here. A little bit of everything. I don't like having to run back to the store on the customer's time. So I try to carry enough to get me through. When I buy parts for a job, I'll buy the contractor pack or the larger pack always a few more fittings than I needed for the actual job just because I can throw them in my bags and the next customer is going to major benefit from that. Uh, my smaller gray one, this one just has some little bitty random parts. I actually have an empty AWP bag. You can kind of see that's their mid-size bag. It's fairly small. And this one here, I carry mounting hardware for packs where you can nail to joists and whatnot, uh, ceiling floorboards, uh, as well as some washing machine new hose gaskets. I like to carry those if you have somebody, you got a customer that uh, has a leak, and leak behind the washing machine and you're there, you change the valve, you might as well put a new gasket in their line too. That way they're good permanently, or at least for a long time. But that's what's between those two bags there. Then this one here has uh, my rings in it, and this is where I still actually use the smallest version of the AWP bag. They're just, uh, that's, that's the tiniest one they All they give you on those two is the little D-ring. They don't give you the built-in clips like uh, Vito does. I just took a Sharpie and wrote half inch right on here, so I know that's my half inch rings. Cinch clamps, pinch clamps, half inch. And then of course loose in the larger bag are three quarter clamps, stainless clamps there. Uh, and with it clear on the front, I can see my three quarter rings and I know this is my ring bag. I just at a glance. If you keep your things in these AWP bags, they're only about a $13 bag for three, I believe, uh, at Lowe's for those. So price difference is quite a bit. $57 for, three, for four of these, maybe around $13 for three of those. So they're, they're not really in the same ballpark. About three of those is around the price of one of these. Uh, my other one here, this is a heavier one. This is where I keep my galvanized fittings. In here, since galvanized has a lot to do with gas and, uh, well, a black iron is in here as well, but I keep my gas pressure test gauge in here. Since we have to do a lot of this on our rentals. If you buy, if you buy foreclosures, uh, foreclosures, tax houses, those kind of things, probably haven't been occupied in well over a year. 
your gas company is going to require you to pressure test. So I keep one of these along with an assortment of fittings that will get it adapted to most gas situations on the back of a house. And these have a 0 to 30 PSI air gauge and an air chuck here just like your car tire. So you can just grab your little uh, battery compressor or your like little roll air is what I use and pump it up to 30 and let it sit. If you don't lose a pound in 15 minutes, I believe they pass me. Anyway, the rest of these, black iron, quarter turn, uh, several lengths of these uh, uh, galvanized nipples. I like to carry several sizes on these just because when I'm doing tile, and if y'all have been around a while or seen on Facebook, I do a lot of tile showers tub surrounds and everything. It's nice to be able to swap something out if it's not fitting a tub faucet, anything like that. As well as you need a big assortment of caps, plugs, three quarter inch, half inch. Just if you get to a job, there's you have a gas leak you had to check on and it turns out you're gonna have to run to the store, get parts, whatever, just cap things up and leave it nice and neat till you get back. You never know about customers. They may or may not actually get it done as they're supposed to. And that way at least everything's protected. But this bag gets fairly heavy. So I try to just carry one, one of each size in there and then replace it as it's used out of the truck. And that is the largest of the AWP bag. It's around two thirds the size of the Vito bag. They only give you one D-ring with these and you can clip one bag or all three to it, I assume. So, a little aluminum D-ring, but they go right in there. Now, they were a little nicer for clipping to the veto bags because when you clip these on, most of them don't even touch the ground. They just hang right on the bag. Where these veto bags are a bit oversized if you don't like your things dragging on the floor, the bottom of your van, your truck, whatever. Well, I thought I had that in there. I know I did. Got a little tight that way. Maybe I had it the other one. But so the AWP bags are still, they still have a place. I wish Vito made maybe a smaller version of these. Then you wouldn't have this little problem here. If you clip these on, they're down on the ground pretty good. I don't know a lot of us are fairly critical about messing up our nicer equipment, but. I don't know. I'd like to have a bag around half the size of this. Even if it was exactly half the size of this right there, it'd be big enough for a lot of small parts that I'd use. But these are great. These are great little bags for your parts. Just keep them in your truck. Make a whole lineup of them. You can even write right up here on them with a Sharpie what you have in them so you don't make any mistakes and it save you a little more time. But for me, this is great. I can remember my colors on four of them so far anyway. We'll see how that goes if I get more. But uh, right now, this saves a lot of weight off of my OT bag. I hate loading these down too heavy. Plumbing tools are heavy just naturally. And adding fittings and parts and everything to this is just, just terrible. With these huge D-rings, though, you could hang all your bags on this thing and just E-man it in there, I guess. But not really my style on that deal. But hopefully... Somebody can also give me a little input. That's kind of my opinion here on the Vito PB4 bags. They're great, they're heavy duty. They're at least two to three times as heavy duty as the AWP bags from Lowe's, but they are around four times the money per bag. So something to think about there as well as if you need a smaller bag. If you know if Vito makes a smaller bag than this, let me know, I'd love to get me a set. But I did a lot of hunting between Amazon and eBay tool nut everywhere that I go through typically and I couldn't find those but now I'd like to talk just a minute about the channel and a few things that I'm working on here audio has been an issue for a while so I'm using a microphone now as well as videoing with everything else off hopefully background noise and all gets a little better but I try to do my videos on my job sites because I work pretty much daylight to dark year round. And it's a challenge for me to actually get a setup other than that. I have to shoot where I'm at. I do the best I can. This is some drywall on saw horses. We're drywall in a bathroom back here behind me. And this was just the natural setup today to get it done. Hopefully, 
these kind of videos will work. I can't really do a studio situation other than just in my, my shop trailer. And I'm sure it's acoustics aren't that wonderful either. But I'm going to try to maybe even get a better mic and whatnot as well as we're testing on this video to see how a different camera would work. If you've noticed a massive difference, let me know. Let me know if you like the audio better, if you like the video of this better. Just let me know and I will try to do what I need to do for you guys to be able to tolerate watching my videos. I really appreciate you guys being here. If I've earned your subscription, please click that subscribe button. It'll be right down here below. As well as here on the end screen, there'll be some other videos suggested from the channel if you see anything else you're interested in. There is a video on this loadout right here as well if you want to see what I have in that bag typically. I probably should do another one before too long because it changes over time based on how, what tools I've used and what tools I have not used. But thank you guys for being here, checking in on another video. I'll try to shoot some more. I'm headed out for Christmas vacation after today and uh, won't be back for about a week, but I'm going to try to have a video set to drop somewhere in between there while I'm gone. So catch y'all in the next one. Bye.